Keep it going, keep it going, and sway here. Um, sorry about the video quality. I'm only shooting with the uh, GoPro 2, and um, the light in here is quite low. I'll try and make it short and sweet. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. Um, I ordered this tricopter from RC Explorer uh, on the 17th of January. Ah, uh, sorry, 17th of December, and it arrived today, which is the 7th of January. Um, I'm going to make it short and sweet. Open it up for you. I've already cut it open. Uh, a little note here. RC Explorer. Pretty much all the common sense stuff, you know, follow your rules and regulations for your country. Um, here are some cool warning symbols. And a thank you for being awesome. You just helped me in my quest of RC exploring. For that I am grateful. Thank you. That's a nice little touch. Okay, we got... I'd say that's the GoPro Cradle. And the battery cradle, all in one. Main body. He's given Phillips head screws. I might change all these out to black hex screws. Um, if anyone knows of good uh, where I could buy a whole kit of different size hexes, all in one, throw me a link in the comments if you could. That would be great. It's actually pretty good carbon fibre. There's no laser printing on these ones. His first batch, he signed them personally. Well, not personally, but he laser scratched on um, his signature. Carbon fiber booms. They all look dead straight to me. Um, a lot of people were getting them twisted, but he was fairly quick in um, getting back to the getting back to his customers and sending them straight ones. So. He yeah, has very good customer service. Just the booms out of the way. This box has some pretty good foam in it too. I might reuse that for another Pelican case if I can. Excuse me. Um, straps. There's also resin reinforced by the looks of it. Which is always good. It's got his logo on there. RC Explorer. Some zip ties. Got plenty of those lying around anyways. This is the Asian version of CRC. Like you, you well, us Aussies I should say. I'm half Asian, if you didn't know. But um, CRC fixes everything. But a zip tie. Zip tie fixes everything. Okay. Got the wire. I don't know if you can see it. There's this U-shaped wire, which gets rid of the jello as well. It soaks up all the vibrations. Different size spacers and a spacer for your GoPro as well. It's also cut on an angle, so you can have your camera for uh, have your camera pointing down for FPV. I do eventually want, in to, want to get into FPV, um, I've been looking at the latest goggles, um, I honestly don't know where to start, if anyone can point me in a good direction for a kit or a link to separate com components to get me up and running, I do want to have a decent amount of range. Um, probably no, I'm, I'm probably not going to go further than 400 well, 300 meters away from myself, really. Um, but it's probably good to go a little bit further if I could. Maybe f we'll say 500. So if anyone can shoot me a link of all different components or a kit, something like that, um, probably RC FPV vids could help me out there. He's already tried to help me out selling my planes. <laughs> um, got motor mounts. And the, mo uh, the legs for the booms as well. It's the tail assembly. 
Yeah, well, that's all 3D printed stuff. Now, he does state don't use um, Loctite on here because it weakens the... I'm not sure what I use, but um, it weakens the resin from the 3D printed components and it um, deteriorates them fairly quickly as well. And some more screws. As I said, I'm, I want to swap these out to hexes because whenever I use um, a Phillips, I always manage to flog them out and round them out. Hexes just seem a little bit more reliable and I've got all different size hexes anyways from my drifting kit and all that kind of stuff. Well that's the unboxing, short and sweet. Let's put it all back together. I might start on the first step of um, the build tonight. Um, also I'll put a link in the description for David Winderstall's um, build vid and the tuning vid. Now in the tuning vid he splashed his KK board with the Stevie's firmware. I've got the KK Mini. It's, it's no different really, it's just wired, wired up different because it's just signal wires down to one side just to allow for a, diff uh, a smaller footprint on your aircraft. Um, it's fairly easy to do, there's heaps of information and forums on the internet on how to flash these. Um, for those that you already know you can fast forward through this part but um, he recommends the Stevie's for more smooth um, transitions when when you're warring and stuff more resolution as he puts it but I want I want that his flight characteristics lots of resolution and a very stable platform for um, video um, help me out guys is it gonna be worth me getting a GoPro 4 just go ahead and get a GoPro 4 or just go for the 3 if I'm gonna be flying with it um, another thing, quick shout out to Tojo, iRock, RC, FPV Vids, Jax Teller, and the new guy I've been watching is uh, Dutch RC Adventures. He's recently done a scratch build on a wing, which is actually quite impressive. I, I like it a lot. I might even, I might even do my first scratch build. As you know, I've been trying to sell my planes. Um, I'm not selling the whole fleet, just uh, well, pretty much the, the only two warbirds I've got. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to upgrade my um, radio to Futaba. Uh, I don't know, everybody's talks pretty highly about Futaba because of the resolution that's in the controller. Um, basically I'm tired of getting um, losing link with the planes. Well it's only the EFX that I have the issue with. Um, I put a link in the video where I crashed it, which was, well it didn't really crash. Um, I was coming in to land, I was trying to get far away, I probably got about 200 metres away from me and maybe 80 feet in the air. Um, and she just locked up and started to spiral down and I thought it was done for. But when we walked over, it was just a prop. Um, which was quite amazing. It might have got connection back just towards the end, but I didn't actually see it hit the ground because it was banking down. But I just mastered prop, so it might have come back because I was fighting the um, the corkscrew down and pulling back as well. So I was actually quite happy that it was just a prop. I was very lucky. I'm going to do a uh, build video on this in the next couple of weeks. I might do a time lapse thing or might just do a time lapse thing because David Winderstall's build video, no one can top that. He's so thorough with his work and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, and another thing, I'm going to do another name change on the channel. Um, it's gone from Phoenix Crew, well, sorry, from The Dirty Sway, Phoenix Crew to Phoenix RC Sway. A lot of people say Phoenix RCS Sway, uh, Phoenix RCS Way. Um, that's no one's fault, but I might just make it something simple. Might do a little play on words, something like that. I just want something short and sweet, and so if people want to search it, they can they can search me a lot easier. Um, okay, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, real quick, I finally got my three quads in my little pelican case here actually looks quite quite nice now basically I wanted three well, everybody goes why do you want three for well while I'm flying one 
the other one can charge and I've already got one as backup. Um, made a little battery slot, little prop slot. Now I've actually managed to uh, bind all three at once in one controller and I was thinking if I did each one as a tri configuration maybe that would work. I might do another vid like that. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. I'm out.